a conversation with Ray Ferraro here on the show, and man, it's got to be a nice moment for the kid getting drafted and hearing his name called. Uh, it's better than that, James. It's a realization, really, of a lifelong dream. I mean, since he's a little kid, he's been dreaming about getting drafted into the NHL. Nice opportunity for management and their prized possession, the new shiny draft pick, to kind of have a chance to sit down and get an understanding of where each other kind of sits, what their respective expectations are. You know, it, I know a lot of fans are wondering, can he make that jump now? Can he make that jump and be an impact player in the National Hockey League? I think management took him for a reason. There might be that opportunity. I think he's going to get that shot. He's going to get every opportunity to try to make the team this coming year. It's ultimately on the player to ultimately deliver on that, right? So we'll wait and see how things play out. But it certainly sounds like both sides feel very good about this fit based on everything that I've been told. All right, time for a quick break. We're coming back with much more on the other side. Well, there's your latest addition for your trivia question. Who was taken first overall this particular year? And there you have it. The answer is made, and I tell you, it's thrown around way too loosely these days. But I like what I see in this kid. He's got a chance to be a real franchise player. And this organization finally has something to really build around and take this franchise and give this fan base really something to cheer about. All right, we'll break down some of the other uh, notable selections and we'll do that next. that we've got is that the kid was supposed to be heading down to the rink sometime today to kind of check out the new surroundings. This has got to be like the first day of school, Razor. Guaranteed he would have gone early to go and take a look at the locker room. You walk in there for the first time, you can't believe your lifelong dreams are about to happen. And when you're looking around, I'm assuming, you know, is he thinking the nameplate might be up there? Oh, you're hoping, but you know, yeah. he's going to learn that those trainers don't miss very often. The jersey's ready. Your name has never looked so good as when it's on top of your stall. But what I remember, James, is the excitement, the nervousness, how scared you were. And then you're like, I'm in an NHL room. I can't believe this. It is the very best of feelings that you can have till you step on the ice. Known technically as the ELC, yeah, you know me, uh, is signed up. And now it's time to find out if he can live up to the hype. I think fans would love to see him make that jump to the opening night roster. Management would love to see it. And I know the kid has every intention of trying to crack it too. All right, enjoy it. The honeymoon's almost over because it's time to shine. And we'll find out in camp. All right, still to come here on the show, our conversation. on the ice how about some of these other storylines about these prospective rookies that are going to crack the roster and i look at the one here where boy for all the hype i thought he was going to go back to junior he's going to likely stick he's going to stick and he's played well in camp i'll tell you what the what impressed me the most i knew he could contribute offensively but it's his two-way game he is way more complete a package than i think a lot of scouts realize and I'll tell you what, I'm included in that one as well. Been very pleased with what he's done. Elsewhere around the league, you look at some of the other potential cold. All right, everybody, I want to bring it back to the rookie here for a second. And, you know, I know there's a lot of hype and a lot of buzz. And, you know, we've seen kind of mixed reviews with a lot of freshmen breaking into the league over the last few years, right? I mean, you look at some of these guys with the hype trying to make that jump, and they're kind of underwhelming debuts. Some set the league on fire. Look, I, I really think they've got a chance to see and have something special with this kid. I, I've really liked where his game's at. But I would also say this, let's not panic if he gets off to a slow start, right? It's his first year in the greatest league on the planet in the sport of hockey, right? So let's let's just maybe temper our expectations. If he doesn't have 50 goals in the first 20 games, let's not write him off as a bust. But I am very confident 
that they have got a special player in this young man. He's a forward. I think he is born to score goals, and he will find a way to light the net very quickly in this league. Uh, a lot of people jumping in on the text line here, weighing in with their thoughts. And I am so intrigued to see how things play out for this young rookie with his first game in the NHL and and just how he responds, right? I, you know he's messaged everybody, every single contact that he's got in his phone book. Uh, he has probably texted or called and ready to roll. Uh, now you see how he rolls in this sort of situation, right? A lot of anticipation. Think about anybody's first job, your first day on the job, right? Man, I think even when I was flipping burgers as a kid, my first day going in with the uniform, I had the butterflies. That's flipping burgers. I mean, this kid's going on the ice in front of 20,000 people. How's he going to roll with that? Can't wait to see how it all plays out. Uh, we'll check in on the phone lines as well. I think a lot of... All right, lots of wild happenings on the ice tonight. Let's take a look at some of the scores of what went down. The Canucks faced off with the Oilers. Vancouver pulls this one out late in a game that had end-to-end -end action all night long. The Rangers had a tall order to fill as they tried to take two on the road against the Capitals. Washington toppled their opponents with a big offensive night. We've talked enough about him. It's time to find out if he can actually do it on the ice. Razor... Any final thoughts? Well, I think his thought is that he wants all this talk to be over, James. Everyone has asked him questions. Are you ready to play? Can you play at this level? He's nervous. He's scared. He's excited. He can't wait to get on the ice. It's time to do what you do best. Just go play and show everyone. Beautiful night for hockey. Let's get set to drop the puck. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Let's go. The official's made his way to center ice, and we are ready to get things underway. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still scoreless in this one. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Ugly, but who cares? It's your first goal. Well, as the two sides set up here for the face-off, you can still feel the energy. Uh, I think that's his heart pounding. Is that what's shaking this building? Well, whatever nerves he had, they're gone now. He's got one goal in one game. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. won the draw in the neutral zone. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. Suters won the draw here in the offensive zone. 
Small play, but a key play. Now you've got possession in the offensive zone. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Here they come on the attack. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. The Sabres gain possession along the wall. Buffalo's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Smith's dangerous, and he's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier on. Oh, and the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to do this one over. We're still in the early stages of this period. Buffalo's up one zip. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. one nothing is where we sit at this point. Reinhardt's won it. Moves it quickly over to Smith. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Scooped up along the wall by Suter. And a stick breaks that up. Quick pass across to Smith. Great defensive effort with the stick. The Canadians take it across the blue line. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Denies him with the pad. And that's broken up. There's another stop. Pinned up along the boards. Great pressure on the offensive end by Suter. The Sabres have it now. And now he moves it to Samuelson. Oh, huge open ice hit. Montreal's got control of it now from their own end. And it's a quick pass to Bryson. Puts it on net. Comes up with the block. Quick pass to Suter. Montreal's across the blue line. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Slides it quickly to Yokiharu. In. The Sabres gain control of the puck against the wall. Takes the feed up ahead. Reinhardt swooping in on the attack. And no luck on that pass attempt. Slides the puck across to Anderson. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Quick feed to Romanov. And that's blocked. Picked up along the boards by Hyman. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Puck scooped up by Hag. Moves it to Sherratt. Here's a pass down low. Cutting to the front of the net. Denies him with a save. Picked up along the wall by Skinner. The Sabres move the puck in the defensive zone. Smith's picking up steam. From the left side, they gain the zone. Here's a short pass to Stastny. Quick feed to Reinhardt. And a smart heads up play to poke that away by Toffoli. And he easily stops that one. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in nine. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. Gergensen will take the face off here as this man advantage is about to resume. Buffalo's got it in the offensive zone. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Great poke by Smith. Manages to hang on. Buffalo's looking to break out of their own end. Great poke check on the reach. Gains the zone through the middle. Takes a shot. And then Karen's off a stick. Sends it down low. And he slides it quickly to Gergensen. Oh, going wide! Under 
under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Donato's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in their own end. Trying to clear the zone. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. Montreal's penalty killing unit delivers in a big way. Both scores! And the deadlock is broken! Well, what a crushing goal to give up. But the other guys worked hard for it. They pressed the play, and now they've got the lead. Well, that didn't work. He tried a big glove stop. Doesn't get it, but I don't think he saw much of it anyway with the traffic in front of him. Buffalo's got up by one here in this second period. Pretty important goal to get to break the tie here as you get into the middle frame, and now you have a chance to control maybe the way the game's played. Back at the point, he's set it up. Here's a chance. That's blocked by Rene. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The Sabres are looking to build on this one goal lead. Dished on over to Skinner. The Sabres are on the attack. Here he is in front. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. He scores! Point on the board. It's the first of a long season. You want to get to one as quick as you can. He's tight to the net. He doesn't have much time. And that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. Buffalo's got an insurance marker here. They now lead by two in the second. Don't back off, though. Keep pushing ahead. Play the game in the offensive half of the ice. Puck picked up by Petrie. Easily turned aside by Allen. Petrie stick handling in his own zone. Great reach with the stick by Reinhardt. Moves it to Drouet. Puts it on net, and he comes up with it. Rene's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Freeze the puck. In the final moments of this period, Buffalo's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. And that pass can't connect. Takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. And now it's grabbed by Skinner. Oh, he's got two goals already. You know he's feeling it right now. He's carrying the puck, but I gotta believe he's thinking about a third one. Hammers the shot! And that's blocked away. Slides the puck over to Smith. The Sabres played along the wing. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. And now he angles it across to Miller. Montreal's regained possession of the puck. Tries to get it over to Suzuki. Drives to the paint! Second frame almost done. Well inside a minute now. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. Takes the feed. Great pass from off the right side. Taken along the wall by Suzuki. Well, this building isn't the only place that's buzzing tonight. With much more, we send it ringside to Carlin Bay. You know what, James? The rookie is buzzing tonight, scoring his first career goal in his first NHL game. And the fan... Still anybody's game here. Ray Ferraro's between the benches. Razor? Well, if you're protecting the lead like they are, James, there's only two ways. Sit back and protect your goalie or to attack. The coach wants to attack, and he's got his younger guy on the ice. He can really fly. Lots of time left in this period. The Sabres are up 3-1. Buffaloes won the faceoff deep in their own end. Errant pass, and they can't connect. 
Smith's hungry for that third one. He's got two. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a dangerous player. Tries to the crease. Taken by Skinner. Reinhardt's got the puck. The Canadians have it behind the net. Slides the puck over. And that goes off a player. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Quick shot. Comes up with the stop. Renee's going to cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The Sabres don't really miss a beat when the second line has it going. They look confident tonight, and the coach is smart to get them on the ice a lot. Grabbed along the board by Kotkaniemi. Quick shot. Makes a save. Cool and calm under pressure. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The Sabres have a little breathing room here, but not much as they lead it 3-2. Offense his own face off, and he wins the draw. Scores, and we are tied. They've been scratching around the edges of this game, and now they get it back to level. Montreal's been the better team tonight, and they have finally evened things up with the results. It's been a long way to get back to even, and now as we're into the last half of this third period, they've got a chance to win. Makes a move in front, and the traffic neutralizes that threat. The Sabres gain possession. This one in front, denies him! Allen's made an excellent effort here. He's got to be quick. He's got to be sharp. He's got to be on top of the puck to make that stop. And now he moves it quickly to Reinhardt. And that one's broken up. Let's it go. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Great forecheck by Kotkaniemi. Uses the boards with the bank pass. Quick pass to Skinner. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Can't get it to go. Cuts into the paint. Gains the zone through center. Quick feed to Kotkaniemi. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. Montreal's been the better-looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one-goal lead. The Sabres play it along the boards. Picks up the puck in his own end. We've seen just about every type of goal so far tonight, and we're not finished yet, James. This has no look of a game that's going to get locked down anytime soon. Stopped by the goaltender. Scores! All over the rebound, and tucks it in for the goal. Hey, we get a good look here where the man advantage break is cultivated. Now they've got it clean in. They don't make a mistake, and the goalie has no chance as it's in the net. Buffalo's got a little mojo back on their step after that goal here in the third. You work and you try and keep yourself light, you keep yourself aggressive, but if nothing happens for you, it gets pretty heavy. They feel good now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Darlene. Denied that one. Sometimes you make a good shot and you just get beaten by the goaltender. I'd say that's one that you put in that category. Suter's got it into offensive territory. Moves it to Reinhardt. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Buffalo's got it along the wall. Great read with the stick. Montreal's got the puck. From the right side, they gain the zone. Here's a short pass to Skinner. Great use of the stick at center by Gallagher. Penalty coming up. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps them at bay. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Even though he's going to argue on the way to the box, I mean, it's not a rodeo. You can't tie the player up like that.
and they'll roll the power play unit right back out. The power plays are going to go up and down. You're going to be successful some nights and others not so much. This is a great opportunity for them right now. The power play is here, and they've got to capitalize. The Canadians will play for the defensive zone. Taken along the wall by Weber. Montreal's ready to go on the attack. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Lekkinen. Puck scooped up by Reinhardt. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Smith. Oh, huge desperation save! And now he tries to get it across to Kotkaniemi. Poked away at center by Skinner. Let's it go. Takes it right in the chest. And we're going to get a stoppage here as the referee blows the play dead. New York's on the calendar next. That should be a fun one. It should be. The teams play generally pretty aggressive physical games against each other. Less than 60 seconds left in regulation. Skinner's got the puck along the wing. Montreal's got possession of the puck. Sends it over to Lekanen. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Here's an odd man rush. Shot with the stop. The Sabres gain control of it. There's the horn. Neither team giving an inch to each other tonight. And so we'll go to overtime next. Who's walking away with the W tonight? Overtime should give us an answer, and they're ready to drop the puck. Will we get a winner here in overtime as we are underway? Quick pass to Reinhardt. Scores! And that's the game! They take it in overtime! Buffalo's feeling much better about themselves as they come away with the OT win. Well, they really pushed after it after nothing settled in regulation. They get the winner here in extra time. Ray, you look at how the home team here salutes the fans at Santa Rice. This is something they, when you played, you didn't have to, you didn't do this. We didn't do this. I mean, we just left. And now everybody feels like they're part of the win. In the meantime and in between time, he's Ray. I'm James. Good night. Lines are open and text messages already hopping away. What a job. What a performance. What a debut by the rookie. I mean, to snipe in your first NHL game, you talk about living up to the hype. There was a lot of pressure, a lot of eyeballs to see how he would respond. And to me, he passed the test with flying colors. Whatever that even means, flying colors. I'll tell you what, he aced it, love it. Uh, and I think there's a lot more and a bright, bright future ahead. Uh, meantime, we're going to check in on some other stories going on around. Went right over to the water cooler, and I had three people asking me about that performance out there last night. Let's open up the phones. We've got John in High River. John, how about that rookie? I got to tell you, James, I am fired up about our first-year guy.